Hello everybody. Uh, thank you so much for clicking on this video and uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, my name is James and I am the owner of uh, James Bailey Photography and I am based out of a small town in southwest Idaho called Mountain Home, Idaho. Um, it's about 45 minutes east of uh, Boise and that's pretty much just out in the middle of uh, a high mountain de desert at the base of the Sawtooths and uh, well welcome and thank you so much I really appreciate you clicking on this video um, um, the purpose of this video and this channel is um, it's not gonna focus on my photography that's not the whole point but um, the focus of it is that I am hoping to inspire others who are like me, or who are big. And it doesn't matter if you're only 50 pounds overweight or a couple hundred pounds overweight. I'm hoping that I can um, provide you with inspiration to just get out of your house, just get off the couch, um, work on your mental health, work on your physical health and all you have to do is uh, just go out and do a walk around your, the block of your where you live um, just start with that and uh, as time goes on um, you will be able to do more and just kind of increase where and the distance of where you're hiking um, I am definitely not some kind of expert. I don't have any, any degrees in medicine or anything like that. I am just a, a, uh, another guy, you know. I, um, you know, it, it, it's not easy for me to do this because I'm used to being in, in the back, of, behind the lens of the camera instead of in front. But um, my story has been a long one and uh, and it could relate to so many of you um, and uh, if you're watching this I hope you could see com compare yourself to a lot of your own situations to what I've been through and maybe that could really do some help for you um, so forgive me if I stutter Forgive me if I uh, kind of blank out there or start staring off out of the lens because um, I really am sincere. I'm just kind of, this is what I tend to do when I'm trying to think of every point that I'm trying to make in this video. So um, I truly want to help others and I'm not, in a, you know, I'm not exactly the prime example right at this moment, but um, I hope as you watch me go along that, uh, you know, you, you'll join me. Um, my story is I've struggled with depression for quite a lot of years. Um, my weight has been up and down uh, the last decade pretty much has been really hard for me and uh, and I don't like the point I have gotten to with my body um, and I've had developed quite a bit of health issues I've got uh, hypothyroidism bad joints bad um, ankle uh, back and all that kind of stuff and uh, that's the and uh, high blood pressure and um, I had a health scare that kind of for some reason I don't know what's so special about this incident but I had to go to the emergency room about March where um, I had a weird fluttering in my chest that scared the crap out of me um, my heart's always been kind of strong despite my size but um, you know so it was just kind of an odd 
occurrence for me. And it turned out it was, can be attributed to my hypothyroidism. And because I, uh, I've had it for years and I've taken medication, but um, I had come down on a hard time where I couldn't afford health insurance. And uh, I didn't renew my prescription. I, couldn't, I stopped taking my pills and I didn't think it was a big deal, but I learned quick that, that it really was a big deal. And so always, you know, work with your doctors and, um, you know, try to get, always remember to take your med medication that you need. And, uh, you know, like myself, it was a turning point and I just started walking, going out. I'm still big, so I'm not nowhere near my goal. But um, at first, I couldn't even, I, it was a struggle just to walk around my block. And I hadn't taken care of my body. And that was sad that I allowed myself to get to that point. But um, several months later, it's now November, and I started in March. Um, I haven't weighed myself. At the beginning, when I went to see the doctors, I weighed in at... Uh, um, 565 pounds and uh, I don't know what I'm at now but uh, I know and I feel my body changing and I know I have lost weight I don't think that the pounds itself is what's important I think it's how you feel how you look yourself in the mirror and you see the changes happening to your body and it feels good to know that finally you're getting it through your head that you need to take care of yourself and uh, but you know and my problem hasn't been that I didn't know how to eat I didn't know how to exercise um, but my problem has always been excuse me there was a bug that just flew out my mouth <laughs> but uh, the problem has always been my mental health um, I struggled with depression for years, like I've mentioned. Um, I don't really want to go over it too much, but I've had many incidents where I've came very close to taking my own life. Um, at the point where I've got a knife in my hands and not slip my wrist, but I go the length of my forearm. Believe me, I know many ways of how I thought would be a good way for me to take my own life. Um, but the one thing, the thing that always kept me from doing it before is I have people that I love. And I have my family, I have my nieces. I have my best friend, Sarah, who um, I don't get to see all that much because she lives uh, down in California and I'm up here in Idaho and uh, I hope to be able to change that soon. She's got a beautiful family now that I haven't even got, gotten to meet and that's a really real disappointment for me and uh, she's got a good husband that's a good man but uh, you know it's just family like family to me one of the people that I always trusted the most. But the thought of if I took my life and the thought of the disappointment, the hurt that I would cause my nieces, my father, um, my mother in heaven, um, the rest of my family, my best friend Sarah, I, I think I just mentioned. Well, I know I just mentioned. <laughs> you can see I'm awkward at this, but um, so I it, it had always stopped me from taking my life. But now it had reached the point where I might not take my life, but food and uh, depression because I don't. I'm not into drugs. I'm not into alcohol. I like scotch. I like beer, but I don't like the feeling of getting drunk 
and that has never been appealing to me to drown my pain. Um, damn bugs. Uh, sorry, I got distracted. The bugs distracted me. Um, chose this spot out in the desert out north of town to film this, and uh, it was probably not the right spot, but oh well, I'm doing it and I'll get it done. But uh, so. It wasn't until this health scare that made me realize that I have so much to live for, contribute to the world. And I love photography. I'm really getting into landscape photography and doing that more. Um, I work with uh, a lot of models that I'm very appreciative that I get the opportunity to work with from Boise. and. Uh, They've become good friends, and uh, it always feels good to be able to collaborate with them on different projects and all that stuff. So, you know, the, it's I'm finally realizing now is not the time for me to go, and I need. But if I want to stay, I need to take care of myself, and so I've been working really hard. I'm walking and losing the weight, like I had said, but also working on my mental health, on my depression, on being positive, trying to cut out the negativity from my life. And, you know, and fixing the areas that I need to fix that is a contributor to my depression. You know, my finances, my, because, uh, uh, you know, everybody's going through a hard time right now. Um, you know, I definitely learned to never pay attention to the news because it, no matter what, there's always something horrible going on and that always affected me. And uh, so, you know, that's why I'm doing it. Like, but I don't want to come off as if I'm some kind of expert and trying to point my finger and say, you need to do it this way. Um, you know, what works for me might be different for what works for you. So what I'm hoping with this channel is, you know, at least do a video a week, I hope and uh, do at least one video where I go to some um, beautiful Idaho lo location and hike. Um, show you, the, um, hopefully show, show you around the, the amazing beauty that Idaho provides. And, uh, and you don't have to travel to Idaho either. You could find so many beautiful places around this country and in the world. So, um, it's just, you know, so I'm hoping to show you to start off slow, choose easy trails. And uh, while we go hiking this place, these places, I will have my camera with me, of course, and film it and uh, take some landscape photography. And uh, I actually had planned on doing uh, the, it was a few days ago, I had uh, gone for a hike at Jump Creek Falls um, near Marsing. And I had originally filmed my intro video for this channel then, but uh, I, uh, something went wrong with the audio, so I had to refilm it today. But, uh, so, and there was some difficulties, the trail, even though it was labeled as easy, uh, there was some tough areas that I just didn't feel comfortable filming at that time. Um, so I focused on the trail itself, you know, um, it, maybe it is easy and for most healthy people, it could have been quite simple, but for somebody that's big like me, um, it was really rough on my body, but I didn't want to quit and I moved on and I'm glad because it was such a beautiful spot. 
and I had taken some, a couple beautiful locations, and, uh, photos of the location. Um, it's fall now, so the, this, the falls aren't as um, flowing as it, I guess I could have gotten from in the, if I went in the spring, but uh, you know, it was still beautiful and I was grateful that I was able to push through the difficulties and uh, experience that place. So I'm hoping to just, you know, show you some beauty inspired to, that you can do it and get out there and hike wherever you are in the world. And so I'm hoping once a month, video a month, we will focus on that. But then other videos for the rest of the month, I'm hoping to, um, I myself learn and bring you along with me uh, different things that could help to improve us. You know, um, meditation, I've learned that meditation is a great thing. I, uh, there's a park that I walk at every day. I get a couple miles in there, but every time I finish the walk, I always sit in my sp sp favorite spot near this pond on a park bench and I meditate and it doesn't have, you don't have to meditate for long it I do 15 minutes and I, I feel that is what's best for me but it could be different for you you might have to do it want to do a shorter time or maybe longer you know it just depends but ultimately no matter what tips that I give you you know, I've got friend, a friend that's going to help me with the video uh, about a um, beginner's yoga that could be used for big people like me and all of you who might be uh, needing to see this. Um, and I'm hoping to talk to uh, other friends who work in the uh, mental health mental, mental health field and uh, medicine and all that kind of stuff. So um, I hope there would be a lot of useful information to help you. So that's the main, pur that's the purpose of this channel. Um, so I would really appreciate it if you hit the follow button and hit the notifications number, uh, button. And uh, you know, like this video. It'll help me so much. I'm just beginning. I'm hoping to build up a good audience. Um, you know, the, the immediate goal is to hopefully reach 10,000 as fast as possible. But uh, after that, I hope to reach millions if I can. Um, I swear I'll get better with the video making. Um, and... Uh, I wouldn't be so stiff and uh, boring. I hope I don't. I hope I'm not coming off as boring. But you know, so thank you so much. And uh, um, another thing that could be very helpful for this channel is, and for me, is if you go check out my website. Um, it's www.jbailey. Uh, www.jbaileyphoto.net um, The link will be in the description below anyhow, but um, I sell prints of my landscapes and some older um, boudoir style shoots that I uh, had the privilege of working with uh, some models and uh, you know, so I've got some prints available for sale on there and that it will help um, pay for travel and um, and ha trying to have good content content for this channel so um, again thank you so much I really appreciate all of you and uh, um, until next time take care of yourselves and get out there and go for a walk 
Before you go, everyone, these are the images that I took from uh, the hike at Junk Creek Falls. Um, like I said, I originally had filmed the, this uh, video there, but the audio didn't work. But if you want prints of these images, they will be available on my website uh, by the end of the day of when this video will premiere. So I hope you like it and thank you again for watching.